Hello everybody and welcome back to Court Farm. This is, believe it or not, the last day of harvest. We just have these field beans to harvest and then we're done. So it has been pretty fast despite having extra field this year. Uh, although we haven't really done an awful lot with the grass field. I, I'm starting to think that maybe we should cultivate that up and put an arable crop in and then have a smaller grass field like 106. I'm guessing 106 is grass, yes it is. So that actually would be better. We don't need so much grass. And the silage pit is already full, we've got loads of bales and stuff, so it's all looking really good. Anyway, enough of me just rambling on as usual. Let's get this combine started up. Uh, I think actually I'm going to cut down the middle. That would probably uh, make sense. Because we're completely empty, so there's no risk of getting full before we reach the far side. And I'm sort of heading for that pole. If we can actually go directly up to the pole, that would probably make things uh, simple. Because then, yeah, next time, uh, if we have to put the auger out, we're not going to be uh, going straight into it, <laughs> essentially. So, um, yeah, although I don't think, really, we're going to be unloading too much. Maybe twice in total? Probably not even two full loads. Because, uh, yeah, it's it's all fertilised, but it's field beans and it doesn't seem to produce thousands and thousands of litres. But then again, every 1,000 litres is worth at the right time, over £4,000, so it's all really good. As for upgrading the combine, I don't think I'm ever going to, I don't think we need to, um, but then again, if we do get a significant increase in land, the amount of land that we have, then yes, it would make sense to change it, but at the moment it seems to be sufficient, seems good. Okay, don't want to hit that. We don't want to do a Jeremy Clarkson. And now I can head back up on the other side and it's just going to make it simple. Basically just keep looping round. So in go the beans. I still get so many people commenting on my other channel, which is called Machinery Restorer, saying, you sound just like this, this YouTuber called Dagoin. And I think people genuinely think that I am not Dagoin on there, and I'm just some person that sounds identical to Dagoin, the farming simulator YouTuber. Well, if you are one of those people, yes, it is me. That is my other channel. It's not an identical twin. Oh no, I've missed bits. Well, we'll come back for those. Okay, let's get this first time up started. Everything is going to plan. We're almost there. Uh, so, really, we want to start cultivation work or drilling work. We're not going to be doing a massive amount of drilling this side of winter. I think, really, I'm going to be putting a lot of spring crops in because we can do. Um, I would like to get as much time past as possible because I don't really want to be spending much time in the winter and I want to get the trees to grow and the poplar. Uh, I think if we 
just go slow, it's just going to be pretty dull. So, uh, yeah, doing the poplar would be great fun. It's only just been planted though. Uh, so, I don't know how long it takes. Poplar is a fast growing tree. It can't be that long, can it? Right, no, we're not getting the full width. I didn't think we were. That's fine. Oh no, that's not fine. Uh, but yes, we are. We are almost there. We're 70% full, so I will probably go back down over there, come back up, and then see how we're doing. But I probably will have to unload. Although not guaranteed, but yeah, it's going to be close. Should be able to make it down this side. If I wasn't confident, I'd have gone on that side, so the auger's on the correct side. Yeah, we're going to unload, because we're not going to make it down there again. Uh, which means we actually will have more than a full trailer. Don't know if that sounds good or bad really, because yeah, that's just that is the whole field. But then I suppose a trailer is what twenty-two thousand liters, and if it's like four thousand three hundred pounds for every thousand liters, that's going to really add up. Getting a bit full. Right, that must be it. There we go. Now we can finish off, and then we can tip into the pit. It is October, the price won't be at its best. We, we really want it to be at its best. I can check though, just to see. No, it's like half what it wants to be. June, oh yeah, of course I remember from last time. Uh, it's a very late selling crop. We have to basically wait for the following summer but we can sell everything else in sort of January time so that should keep us going don't know if we're going to be able to keep this going <laughs> is it going to get a bit too wide it probably is um, it's not like we have to uh, go far though to come back and get it hopefully we can keep it in the header's width can we ah oh, so close Oh well, not to worry. Uh, so yeah, we need to just empty that trailer. Okay. There we go. How many litres do we have over here? We're on 4,600 currently. I'm going to go with two. Okay, one. Yeah, sometimes like even a big chunk it doesn't end up being much at all. So I'll put that up there. We will jump into this tractor. It is indeed 22,000 litres, so we're going to put that into the pit. Hundred and seven is grass too, but again, it's a bit too big. I don't want a grass field this big. Hundred and six is perfect, so we might even buy a hundred and six today. Uh, it would seem a shame to um, just cultivate in that grass, but I don't think I've put any fertilizer on it or anything. So I don't think we really have anything to lose if we just go straight in with a cultivator. This track needs a service. It's uh, noticeable now how. It gets pulled down by the uh, load. In fact, I will... Well, actually, I'll check the price for that field first. If we can afford to service it and buy the field, we'll service it. There we go. 106 is... Oh, wow. 59,000. So we almost have enough, but we, we don't even have enough for the field alone. Well, I might be able to change that. We might have milk to sell. We'll look into it momentarily. There we go. Good. So, with that done, we can turn the combine's engine off. 
Uh, it can stay at the side of the field for the time being. Well, the side of their field. There we go. And we'll tip the rest of it into the pit. And then we can look into milk, because I think it would be good to sell some milk if we can do. And also the cows do require more food, another feed mixture. Lovely. Right, let's just get this trailer tucked into the corner, out of the way. It's good. Um, yeah, cows. Milk, 2,685. That's disappointing. Well, in that case, then, we're going to have to uh, do another feed mixture. If I get into the telehandler. Yeah, um, we actually do have silage to sell. I wonder if the price for silage is any good. What I really would love is to get something bigger to load silage with. I know we can get conveyor belts. I'm not very good with conveyor belts, and I don't particularly like them. I'd prefer just a big buck rake. Oh, good. The price isn't amazing. 573. Yeah, it's not terrible, but it's certainly not amazing. Okay, the Landini is in here. Let's get it out. And we'll put it in the open area. Good. Very good. And you've seen this many times before, no doubt, unless of course you're new to FS or new to my channel. Uh, if that is the case, then uh, yeah, basically what we're doing is we're just putting a full hay bale in, topping it up with silage, although I'm putting silage in first, just because I have some in the bucket. And also we'll put a little bit of straw in to pad it out, because straw is cheap. You don't have to put straw in. But I like to. Okay, this should be the final bucket load. Up two four mixer loads, which should really have boosted it, but if we we're about to rest, which we probably are, uh, they're going to consume quite a bit. But of course, it will be turned into milk, so, well, not indirectly, obviously. Uh, that didn't quite fill it. 98%, that's good enough. Okay, let's pull forward, back up. Uh, actually, I could buy more chickens. If we have grain. Uh, 
Yeah, do I... what do I have? We have barley. Can we give chickens barley? I think we might be able to. Because I only got rid of them. Because uh, I was struggling to find all the ingredients for Maze Plus. Uh, but we're not running Maze Plus at the moment, so... Yeah, we could certainly have them roaming around, causing chaos. Now how did that... Oh, look at that, we're in the green! And I know the slurry is full. Totally full. We do need a slurry spreader. But anyway, yeah, let's let's buy them young. Let's buy them really cheap. There's only space for 30, so... <laughs> there we go. They should already have some food in there, actually. Do they? Yeah, they do, 87 litres. Okay. Well, we'll get the bucket up. We've already got the bucket. And we will um, just, just give them a bit of barley. I can't see why they'd object to barley. Okay, bit of a precarious move here. We really don't need too much. We probably don't even need to cultivate the grass field because it's considered a field, so a direct drill should just be able to drill straight into it. Took a lot of it actually, but they've left a small amount. So there we go. It's all looking good. We shall rest. We shall move on to the next day. I shall move this tractor as well, as it is totally on top of the pit. And then yeah, then we're gonna have to try and figure out how to get the money. I think silage is probably the best way. Because I want to buy that other grass field. Um, yeah, just before we sleep. Is it better or worse tomorrow? Better. Okay, so we should be able to get more than like 5.32. There is a 5.40. But I only want to go to local places, otherwise it's a bit of a trek. So, yeah, let's sleep. Let's sleep in the telehandler. Why not? There we go. Hello. <laughs> Good morning. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, those prices have really pushed up. That's looking really good. I think that's what we'll do then. I wish I did have a faster way of loading the trailer. But unfortunately I don't. So this next load will have to be done with this bucket. Let's just get it a bit brighter if we can do. Problem is it's winter. Um... Yeah, this is the pile that I was hoping to sell. Although, yeah, I want to be able to pick up that chaff and put it straight into another pit. And this pit's still got stuff in it, so let's just do this pit. If we just do one load, that should be enough to buy the field. And then, as it is November, the prices for all those other crops that we've already harvested will be really increasing. Uh, it should be next month when we sell things like the rye. Ah, oh, I'm always getting stuck in this gate. Always. There we go. Okay. So, let's, uh, let's just pop this here. It will be slightly faster than it used to be, because at least I have the bucket, which has a capacity of 2,651. Uh, and before we were using the muck grab, which I think was about 1,700, so almost a 1,000 litres more a time, if I've got that correct, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe not. Um, but yes, it is certainly bigger either way. So in it all goes, and then we'll find the best local sell point, and we'll sell it. We might even be able to clear the pit. Yeah, we've only got 29,000 litres left. We'll clear the pit. We'll do two loads. And I might take a bit out of the other one and do two full loads.
well here we are tall tree stores offering a very good price so we'll get this put into here and then we'll return and we'll refill um, I think really yeah it's worked out very well to get such a good price at such a local sell point Here we go. Should be, uh, well, what would it be? Uh, a 12,000? I don't know, totally guessing off the top of my head there. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, it is 12,292 plus 910. Very good. Okay, let's get back and we'll fill it up again. Oh, I don't know if you saw in the time lapse, but the poplar is growing nicely. No progress with the trees yet, but they are trees. They don't exactly grow overnight. Here they are, the poplar. My brushes, here it is. <laughs> here it is. Uh, yeah, it's looking good. Obviously, we want it to have no leaves when we come to bale it. We're going to use the buyer baler. And the trees are here, but you just can't really see them too well. Eventually, this will be a dense forest. It's, that is just the amazing thing about trees. I love trees. They'll grow to be so big. They're giants. Anyway, yes, we will. Um, just put the last couple of those in. This is actually almost empty. Very little left in here. 10,000 litres, and then we can bring across that chaff. Uh, there's no point compacting it though, because it's just going to be loads more to bring in eventually. Uh, it's just to really tidy the place up. So, yeah. Let's make another 13,000 pounds or so. Is full. So yeah, 44,000 litres sold today. That's really going to boost that bank account, and we will indeed buy a new field. Something which I wasn't really expecting to do today, but it's all in preparation for converting 54 into an arable field for next year, and I think that really is for the best. 106, which we're about to buy, will obviously need to be analysed. That's a fast job, especially with it being so small. So yeah, once we're back, we'll get that set up. Uh, you can, I didn't actually realize this before, but yeah, as I read the, my comments last time I uh, did this, you can actually see what a field is. And I didn't know this. I thought you had to analyze it. We do have to analyze it to get the nitrogen and pH to be perfect, um, but you don't have to, to to see what it is. And I can see it's actually a really bad field. It's 100% silty clay. But it is only grass, so it probably doesn't matter. Sooty clay is my least favourite soil type. Here we go. Uh, can we hit 80? Well, yeah, we should hit 80. Lovely. Um, only just, well, almost 81 actually, but yeah, very good. So we will put this trailer here. Need to be able to get that out. Actually, we are done with it, aren't we, for this year? Oh, well, no, we've got the selling to do. <laughs> we've got the selling to do next month. Um, yeah, I want to I put it up here, but it's really, really tight. Uh, 
well. I'll get there eventually if I don't write off the tractor first. Right, there we go. That will do. Uh, so yeah, let's just go and do a few quick soil samples and then we can send them off to the lab and we can get a result. Ah, oh, so close. Ah. Oh. There we go. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> this is just tractor abuse. Um, yeah, it will probably only be about three samples, something like that, and uh, then um, we will know exactly what sort of pH to set the field to and nitrogen and all that sort of stuff, but of course we already know it is all clay, disappointingly. Now you may be able to access that field from the road. I did see what looked to be a gateway from uh, the, the middle grass field. Um, I don't think you can, no. So you do have to go through the neighbour's field. We really should buy 107 when we can afford it, because it's sort of the last field in this sort of complex, and we don't own it, so <laughs> it's so weird. I'm driving through it every time, and it's not mine. Anyway, uh, let's get that aligned, and we will start to... Um, oh, I knew I'd do that. I just said I'd own it. Um, yes, there we go. Right. Now we own it. Yeah, now we can do these soil samples. I guess at four. Uh, it might be five. But they're not expensive. Of course, looking at the minimap, we can see the area that I'm covering. Yeah, four. And there we go. So once that probe has been lifted out of the soil, we can send it off to the lab and get those results. There we go. Right, so we're going to get that in any second. We'll start to head back to the farm, to the yard. There we go, 200 pounds. Pretty good. Oil, all uh, clay as we knew. Uh, let's just go on to this one here. And pH is there. <laughs> and nitrogen is terrible as we already would have guessed because we haven't done anything to it yet. We have to put the fertilizer on. I might put slurry on, possibly. We've got so much slurry, but I just don't know if it's going to totally fulfill the requirement. Maybe do it twice in uh, precision farming. I'm not too sure. Or maybe I'll just stick with spreading granular fertilizer or spraying it. Anyway, there we go. It's nice that we have actually finished by buying a field. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. And until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.